Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. And let me tell you, if you drink a lot of cold beverages in the summer in these bigger cups, Target has these for $1, $1. I know, crazy, right? I may have to go get some other ones for gifts for people, but it's like a sleeve and it keeps your cup from sweating on the thing. So I went and got a nice coffee this morning. It is Easter. I'm wearing my Easter Bunny shirt. I got Bob's, I got Tubby laying here next to me. That's what we call them. Dubby is Wellington for W, Dubby and Tubby, cause I'm fat. Come here, Alex, you wanna say hi to our friends? Come here. You never come here and see and get on the camera. <laughs> Alrighty, there's Alex, yeah, he just likes to lay next to me. These are not like grab me and hold me cats, but if I'm laying down, they're laying on me, both of them usually, but that's not why you're here. I have a Dollar Tree haul. It is definitely a mishmash, um, but my stores are starting to get in like Memorial Day, 4th of July summer stuff, so that's exciting. I picked up one thing at one of my stores that I'm gonna totally redo. I don't, I mean, it's fine, but it's very glittery. Not too much fallout, but I have the red, or the plain stars from Christmas. And I think I'm gonna paint these like more of a solid color and put them on those stars. So they had this sign. And that's the only thing I picked up, I think. Yes. Um, I got some of these candies. These are mixed berry, sugar-free hard candy. Every once in a while, I get a hankering for one. Um, they're individually packaged in here so I can, you know, just have them in my car or whatever. If I want like a sweet treat, sometimes this helps with that. And then on the candy front, I did pick up, which I should have just bought a big bag, but whatever. I have five bags of the Jelly Belly, one kid's favorite and then one just regular. But what I'm gonna do, so these are two and a half servings. And there's 2.6 ounces. So I'm gonna make six ounce serving bag, two ounce serving bags for when I ride my um, my bike or when I'm backpacking or walking or something. Sometimes I just hit this wall and I lose my energy and I need a quick pick me up to get back to where I started. And I'll burn off any of these carbohydrates. I mean, this is definitely not something I'm gonna eat um, just to eat, but I will put them in little bags. One serving has 26, 28 carbohydrates. So that's why I have to be very careful with my blood sugar. But when I'm riding my bike, like 28 miles, 30 miles, I will burn this super fast, but I need energy and I need to be able to finish. So sometimes I just have to have a little bit of candy. Definitely, like I said, being a diabetic, this is not something I will have outside of exercise. And the same thing with like backpacking and hiking and stuff, it's very strenuous. And when I hit that wall, unfortunately, the simple carbs are gonna energize me more. Now I will always pair them with a protein and another food source, but I, sometimes I just need that quick energy, so. I picked those up, which I may go to Target tomorrow after Easter and buy a couple more bags of the full size just to have for the rest of the summer. I found this interesting. I know I've seen people haul them, but I've never seen them, but it's a mask holder. Um, it's just a plastic. I mean, you could even use like diaper wipe case, the plastic ones, or you could put diaper wipes in here. But they're calling it a mask holder and I do have a mesh bag in my car but sometimes I feel like it gets dusty and whatnot so I thought well I could put the clean ones in here and then use the mesh bag for the dirty ones so I'll throw that in my car with my clean masks in it to have oh sorry let me fix you there you go that was my toe um I picked up Two of these for my niece, Sarah. So some of you know and some might not know. She teaches high school English, so juniors and seniors. And she does little goodie bags for her kids sometimes for like prizes in her classroom. So I grabbed her this, two of these for her little giveaways for her senior class. I thought that would be cute. I can always pick up more if she'd like them, but I thought we'll start with two and it just says 2021 grab on it. 
and her school may make these. I don't know, but I thought for, you know, a dollar a piece, she does a lot of, um, in her English class, like, I think they're doing an escape room and maybe this could go into one of her prizes. If not, she'll just give it to the kids. They need it. They're kids. Ooh, food. I forgot one more food thing. Guys, I'm excited. I found crushed watermelon. I know. Watermelon. The only thing that stinks is these used to come with 10. Now they come with six, but whatever. I grabbed two boxes. I like it. I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing really like dramatic. It's just some more flavors. I finally, I have been on the hunt for these bags. I can't tell you how long. I grabbed two because that's how long I've been looking for them. And I even feel like I have some here, but so backpacking trip coming up. What I'm going to do in here, and I know they sell pill ones, but they're way more expensive. And I can use these for other things, but I'm gonna put my daily medicine and I always pack an extra day. So I'll bring three nights worth of my daily medicine, all my vitamins, any pills I need to take, plus any in one. And then one will have like ibuprofen, Benadryl in case we get bit by something and um, stuff like that. Maybe like a tablet or two of some other things like Dramamine or something if we get motion. I don't know. But anyway, um, these little bags are perfect for that. I mean, they're in the crafter section, so obviously they're good for crafts. Also, you can use them for your fake nail extras. You can stick them in here. For me, oh, I can also use them to, um, that's what I'll do too, is when I put my jelly beans in my little zip pack, I'll fill them in here, make my single servings in here. And that way when I, and I put them in a basket that I have, excuse me, I have the hiccups, a basket that I have in my pantry that has all of my like keto approved snacks, bars, meat sticks, cheese sticks, um, things for vacation, just snacks as I come across them, I throw them in this basket and I eat them too, but I have one basket of snacks for me. Um, speaking of, I grabbed some zip bags cause you know, I try not to use a ton of these and I will tell you the best the best ones that I buy are at Ikea. If you have one close, they are so sturdy and good. They're they're reusable, but they're not like rubber. So they're a, a thicker plastic. You can rinse them out and stuff. The only time I don't reuse them is if I use meat in them, but typically, you know, I do. However, these are the freezer ones. So I just grabbed one box to have to pack up some stuff. And I'll show you when I pack up my backpacking stuff. I grabbed one more of these um, because I, A, I love them, but this one I think I'm going to take with me when I backpack and hike and stuff and keep it moist and in a baggie to wipe the sweat off my face and it's nice and soft so it won't irritate my skin because when I get hot and sweaty, my skin gets very angry, especially right here where I have this sun damage. It gets it hurts almost if I'm super hot and sweaty and red and then I get salt crystals on my skin. So I think I'm going to try one of these in my athletic outdoor bag and I could just rinse it off with a cold water and wipe my face. And I think this will be better than a bandana, which I, speaking of, I did take, purchase this bandana to take backpacking. Um, if you know anything about backpacking, you'll you typically bring a bandana with you. I just thought this was pretty. I love the tie dye to like wipe your nose, wipe your face, wipe your butt if you have to pee. I mean, there's a hundred things to do with these bandanas, but the beauty of them is that um, when you wash them out, they dry really fast. Like you can just, I can, at the end of the evening when I get to camp and if I've sneezed or whatever, I mean, I wipe my hands on it. When I get to camp at night, I have some Dr. Bronner's soap. I put a cup, like a drop on this. I can wash it out. It's biodegradable soap. This will hang dry overnight and be ready for the next day. So bandanas are great. You can use them in your hair, but they're a little rough for my face, which is why I'm also pairing it up with one of these. And this thing weighs like nothing, which is perfect because I got to carry everything on my back. But this will be for like daily cleanup. I mean, heck, I even lay it down sometimes and sit on it or put my food on it at a picnic table. If the picnic table, you know, it's, it's in the nature, guys. So when I backpack or hiking or walking outdoors, I just like to have one of these in my pouch, you know, my fanny pack or backpack or whatever. I like that. I liked it. 
I picked up a package of these for lunches. Guys, I had a work meeting and they said things like, we're gonna start thinking about coming back to the office. No, nobody wants to go back to the office. We're all doing perfectly fine at home. No, not my choice. So I don't have any, like I went through and I, in the last year and got rid of all of, I mean, I used them, but I didn't restock any of my like condiment cups. I put all my lunch stuff, Tupperware lunch stuff in a closet and a drawer shelf. What is it called? Cabinet. In a cabinet that I don't use. But such is life. So I'll pick up a couple of these when I see them just to have. Because they're great for taking stuff to work. And apparently I'm I'm that person again. Ugh. Oh, I did get one more 4th of July thing. A headband. I'm going to let my hair grow out a little bit on the top. Just to start working with my cowlicks. And then do more short under, I think like a pixie type situation, but anywho, I can wear this for like Memorial Day, 4th of July, whatever. They also had scrunchies in the same, and it's all part of this 4th of July decor. It's, um, you know, I don't know what this fabric is, probably polyester. Is it gonna last forever? No, but it will last one time, sure. And I think it'll look cute in my hair. Um, if we go to the pool or if I'm outside or whatever. I found one of these, which I thought was super cute and I wanted to share. It's a hot, I mean, this is like highlighter paint and these are like texture in here, but it's just a Sterilite container, um, you know, pencil box, but obviously can be used for like a hundred million other things, including snacks, but it'll probably go up in my office space to hold like little bitty crafty bits so that I, I like to keep things separated probably like, you know, little bags or whatever. But they're great for a dollar. Also crayons, pencils, makeup, makeup brushes you could store in here. Like it doesn't have to just be for um, school supplies. And the sticker comes off, you know I'm obsessed with that, right? Okay, as long as we all know, as long as we're all aware. Um, I did grab another pack of these because again, fantastic for being out of doors. And let's be honest, as a woman, women of certain age, I just want to make sure I'm fresh. So I love keeping these in my car, especially when I'm out and about. And I mean, they're great for just hand washing. They're enriched with aloe, chamomile, and vitamin E. So they're pretty sensitive. They're good to wipe my face off if I go on a walk or outside or I'm out running errands or whatever. They're going, a couple of them will go backpacking with me. Um, probably like four, one for each evening and morning to just freshen up because I'll be putting dirty clothes back on, but I want to feel fresh. But yeah, I just, you know, to feel fresh, you go to the gym, you even just go for a walk. If you're going to go somewhere, you're out and about. I mean, these things are fantastic just for a quick fresh up. And so for a dollar, I think that is a great, you know, a great price. I grabbed one of these, which is Greenbrier. I just love how they take the same things and just keep repackaging them. So we're all like, oh, is that? Yes, it's Greenbrier. It's, um, these are great for summertime. If I can get my hand in it. Okay, yeah. It is an exfoliating glove. So I would not, for me and my skin type, I definitely would not do this every day. But, but once a week and I rub my legs, I get it on my arms and it just takes off dry skin, guys. And then get out of the shower and do a super good moisturize. Oh, it feels fantastic, especially when my skin is really dry. Like wintertime, dead skin, summertime. Although I wear a lot of sunblock in the summer, so my skin tends to be more moisturized. But it just sloths off that extra dead layer of skin. But like I said, I definitely do not use this every single day. This is a once a week endeavor for me. But I picked that up because my other one is gross. Um, I purchased on the front of Hanitizer. They have this pack. Look at it. It comes with four packages of hand sanitizing wipes, antibacterial. So they come with coconut scent, berry, grapefruit, and fresh. And you have four individual packages. I think these are fantastic. Again, I throw these in my purse, in the car. 
I tend to use more of these than I do uh, hand sanitizer, to be honest. I feel like sometimes hand sanitizer leaves a, a stickiness on my hands that I don't appreciate, where these don't. But I use what I use because we need to sanitize. But yeah, I thought these are fantastic. And a nice four pack is great for on the go. I don't you know, need anything too large in my purse, but this is perfect. Excuse me. I'm still hiccuping and burping. I grabbed another pack of these. I'm going to be making, and I'll do a video, but I bought at the Target Dollar Spot one of the Paint Your Own uh, flower pots, but you can do this with any pot. I just happen to have picked one up and we're going to paint it and then I'm going to seal it and then I'm going to put a plant in it. Oh, the birds are outside. The cats are so excited over here. Alex, he loves his little wick birds outdoors. He's hunting them in the bay window. Crazy cat. But I wanted to do polka dots and these are perfect to paint polka dots. Um, either end, actually, if you wanted small ones, you could just use the bottom, the wooden handle, or you can use the top. We'll see which one works out best for us. But I could do three different size polka dots and different colors of paint. So I thought that would be fun, and these are great. So I grabbed a pack of those. Um, I picked up one of these. We're going to start weighing stuff, but... I have the combs for my backpack, but I don't know. I tried to comb my hair with them, and they... It felt like it was gonna break, plus I don't have a mirror. So this comes with a mirror and a brush. So I feel like this might be my better option than a comb. I might, you know, you don't know when you're gonna need a mirror, especially like if I get something in my eye or whatever, and then a brush that's a little more able to brush my hair. The comb just felt like it was gonna break the first time I brushed some morning hair. But I will not be having product in my hair like I'm not wearing hairspray I'm not wearing gel I'm not wearing mousse nothing because a it draws bugs and b it would just be a mess the next day when you sweat it just gets gross so I'm going to wash and dry, wash my hair condition it and call it when we're out in the wilderness so I think this is going to be my better option so I grab that um, also, I needed a lighter, and quite frankly, you don't want to be out in the wilderness with a cheap lighter that's not going to work. Let me tell you, because my dinner and hot coffee, more importantly, my coffee depends on this. The food, I could soak and let it hydrate without the hot, but you got to have a lighter, and for $1, you know Bics are going to work. So I grabbed a Bic. This is sort of in between a mini and a full size, because it is definitely not a full size lighter, but it's exactly what I need. So yeah, and I don't even light candles with these anymore because you burn your fingernails, <laughs> but I can light my little stove. And don't worry, I'll be bringing you along on my trip. So that is definitely something I needed. I grabbed this because I'm interested. These are masks. It's the Safe brand, distributed by Original Gourmet Food Company. So I'm wondering if it was like for their servers. It comes with filters that lay in here. And then this is like tissue. Oh, and it has adjustable sides, which is nice. And then you put your filter down in here. I don't know if it's an N95. It just says reusable, washable, breathable, adjustable. Cotton face covering includes three filters. 100% cotton inner layer for comfort on skin, 95% cotton, 50% spandex outer layer. It's like t-shirt material, adjustable ear, filter pocket. It doesn't say the filter, what it filters, but honestly, this is a double layer right here. So even if you don't use the filter, but if I was gonna be near, you know, somebody who is at risk and not vaccinated, I would wear the filter. And I thought this would be fun around Christmas time if we are still masking at Christmas time. I mean, I will probably still be masking at Christmas time. And I have probably, I have decided that I will mask, especially if I'm like sick. If I ever, if I catch cold or whatnot, I will definitely be masking because it works. And we found out that it works. Um, so the last couple things are just cute stuff. I grabbed one of these little um, 
photo albums with 24 pages, right? So we do this in my family, we're weirdos. You saw the my brother's face on the air freshener. When my cousin Riley turned 18, I gave him money, but then I also gave him a picture of me in a frame for his end table, because his, his side table, because he needs it. And I might've been wearing a shower cap. I don't know. But so Addison, his sister is going away. She's leaving the country for a week and I'm gonna make her a picture book of me and little little pieces of paper, you know, I love you, I miss you, cousin Lori's your favorite. And I'm gonna send it with her. She won't take it, it's okay, it's a joke, but <laughs> I gotta find some really fun pictures of me to stick in there. Oh, and to go with it, I bought these stickers because I liked the, um, and then I'll just give her the rest of them the cameras and the dogs and the animals. And there's just all different stickers that says, um, make fun, spread, oh, make it fun, spread magic, be magical, think happy thoughts, all these different stickers I'm gonna put in her book with my pictures as well. So that's for her little project I'm working on. Then I grab this pack because I feel like they're trying to act like these are the um, zebra mild liners, which I use in my planner all, all the time. And I want to know if these are supposed to be a dupe for those. So we're going to find out if they are because these are some colors I don't have yet. So I want to try these. And then the last thing I picked up was for myself and Sarah, puppy and cat. Let's do our thumbnail, shall we? Um, they're bookmarks. And we read a lot. So they're sticky on the back, probably just the bottom, I'll have to guess. These are from Crown Jewels. So they're not a Greenbrier company. I'll, they're, and they're from Ashland, Ohio. This is like up the road from me. Okay, so we'll take one and see. Okay, yeah, they're just sticky at the bottom. So you stick them in your book and they're your page marker. And then you can, you know, mark your spot in your book. Use one per book, use one every time you read. But um, I do love a good bookmark. So I grabbed those for myself and I know Sarah does too because she reads all the time and we buy her bookmarks all the time. So these are great and I love that you don't have to worry about losing them or forgetting them in a book, whatever. I mean, I, we have fun bookmarks too. I typically collect them if I see them when I'm traveling because I love opening up a book and finding a bookmark that reminds me, you know, of a place I've been. But these are great, um, again, I know it's only, what is it, May, April, May, April, April. We're in April, guys. I know it's only April, but stocking stuffers. These would be perfect. If you have a reader in your life, perfect bookmark, especially for young ones too, because they, you know, they're not gonna keep up with it. This sticks to their page. So just an idea that I have. I mean, if you're putting together something for a young reader, you could do this, one of these with some bookmarks. Oh, everything is sticking to this plastic. Eh. Throw some highlighters in there and maybe a gift card to like a bookstore and call it Christmas, birthday, Easter, whatever. These are great. But now we are done. That's everything I got this week at Z Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put everything away and go measure out two ounces of jelly beans. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one.